Hi, welcome to the Pursuit of Truth. Um, I just thought I'd do a quick one, still in South Africa. Um, one difference is the, the, the lightning and the thunder. I don't know if you're going to hear it in the background, you might even see it. It's, it's um, so bright. I have videoed it, so I will stick it on YouTube. But it's interesting when you go to different countries how things are different, even thing, natural things. Um, which you don't really realise until you actually travel. So for instance, like when, you, when you're in the UK, say, I'll come back here in a moment, but it's in the sky a little bit. When you're in the UK, the lightning is like, uh, very short. You know, you get a few bars, and um, you might get fork lightning if you're lucky, and then you get a rumble of thunder. Here, the lightning is, it brightens the whole sky, like proper sheet lighting, it, it could be a few, the, the, the thunder is so loud and it rumbles and it, and it lasts a long time and it doesn't, you know, you can hear it from a distance as it comes closer to you. Oh, you saw the lightning there. Then. But the, it sounded like the lightning was behind me, but it, the thunder came from over that side. But yeah, it's, it's, um, it's another one of those things that until you travel, you don't realise the, the difference. Is how things are. So you could you could think that you know what lightning's like, and then someone else comes from another country and tells you this, and you think no, 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 lightning's the same, isn't it? No, it's not. So what about all the other things that are different? You know, and it's starting to rain now. But yeah, we do take a lot, a lot for for granted without realizing that this place that we live upon is different depending where you live. So yeah, that was just something that I thought, um, observation, just wanted to share with you. Um, I don't think I have anything more substantial than that, other than regurgitating the, the, <laughs> the normal things that I talk about on here. But yeah, it has made me aware that no matter where you go, and I'm sure if people are watching this throughout different countries, it would be interesting if they mention the things that... that um, you know, the things that they're unhappy with that happens to them. And you'll notice that the, the same pe same things are being said by all of us. And yet we're all taking it for granted. Uh, you know, we're all just accepting it rather than doing things about it. I know I, I've said these things over and over again. And I don't know, it just seems to me that that's where, the, where I am at this moment. That that's, that's my understanding of this life is that we are inhabitants of this place that we don't really know you know I was thinking the other day like we call things when I went to the Pretoria Zoo and you know they were explaining oh this is this animal it's called this yeah and someone got it wrong and said it was something else but then I'm thinking to myself like well no we don't know the name of that animal that's just the name that we've given I'm sure if you go to different countries they've got different names for the same animal but we don't really know but this, this is what I mean is and, and I, I, part of me wants to write this down into a book maybe call it the pursuit of truth um, because then maybe I can put all these thoughts in one thing about how the fact that we don't really know very much about this place that we're living in you know that it is you know we don't know the real name of this place that we we find ourselves upon we don't know what our actual you know, we're called human beings, but this is a name we made up for ourselves. The animals, the plants, the foliage, everything around us. We don't know the real names of it. These are just names that we've come up with, you know? So there's so much that we don't know. You know, like people say often, you know, with the brain, that we only know 2% of it. There's so much we don't really know. Imagine all the stuff. And the thing is, we think, oh, we, we, we can only do this. And then people say, no, no, you can do this, that, and the other. And the amount of the... Um, the power of suggestion and thought can do you know people can be led to do things you know fight wars for people you know with me with the plane that now I can sit on the same plane and I don't feel the queasiness I don't feel scared of the height I don't you know when the plane was tilting I was watching I couldn't do that before just by listening to the hypnotherapy things and trying to relax so all this stuff that we can do with our minds and all the stuff that we think we know that we don't really know but until we get to that state where we actually 
the thing is if you went to someone and uh, if someone listened back to this and say yeah well, what do you mean you're not a human being what do you mean this isn't the planet earth what do you mean that that's not a camel and that's not a horse you know they'd laugh at you and say yeah but the thing is that people don't realize that we've named all these things and we've forgotten the fact that we don't really know all this stuff and we're just giving it names so that's what i just wanted to say anyway take care take it easy god bless peace